For the Chemist. I'm your co-host, Sarita. Today, we'll be making... Oh yeah, I like that. Homemade ice cream. And here's what you'll need. Eight ounces of milk. The thicker the milk, the creamier your ice cream will be. Four teaspoons of sugar. Lots of ice, crushed is best. You'll use two Ziploc bags, one small and one large. Salt, and for flavoring, chocolate or vanilla. We'll go for chocolate today. In order to make our ice cream, we'll have to melt some ice. Now the melting of ice is an endothermic process. But we're gonna add salt to our ice in order to enhance that endothermic process. Now, you may recall from our ice on a string experiment that salt decreases the temperature at which water freezes and the temperature at which ice melts. The term endothermic means heat is being pulled from the surrounding environment. Now that is in contrast to exothermic reactions in which the reaction is actually giving heat to the surrounding environment. Now that means if you hold an endothermic reaction in your hand, it will feel cold, very cold. It is this endothermic process that is the key to our ability to make ice cream today. Although we're just making ice cream and we're not using any hazardous chemicals or materials, there is a safety concern here. Now, this reaction is an endothermic reaction and you will have to hold it in your hands for a few minutes. It's gonna be cold, so you'll wanna wear some gloves, like the kind of gloves that you would go and play in the snow with. First, dissolve the sugar and one tablespoon of your flavoring in the milk. Now you might notice that I got a little carried away with the flavoring. You'll see why that's a problem a little later on. Next, pour your milk into the small Ziploc bag. Add lots of crushed ice into the large Ziploc bag. Now, let's enhance the endothermic reaction by adding salt to the ice in the large Ziploc bag. Seal your small Ziploc bag and place it in the large Ziploc bag. At this point, you'll want to make sure you're wearing your gloves. Now you'll need to work your muscles. Close the big Ziploc bag and shake it up for about seven minutes. Okay, let's see how our ice cream turned out. Looks pretty good to me. Mmm. That's pretty good. Chocolate. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Mmm. Hey, leave some for me. That's pretty good. <laughs> now, it took longer to solidify than when I'd done it before. I think that's because I added too much chocolate syrup. But it's delicious nonetheless. Enjoy.